Welcome to Bruce Lee Real Fight Channel. In a few of our recent videos, we received a lot of comments saying there was a fight between Bruce Lee and a Filipino Grandmaster Trovador Ramos. Some people leave the comments saying Trovador Ramos was the only Filipino Grandmaster who defeated Bruce Lee in a real fight. Some even say that Trovador Ramos knocks out Bruce Lee in just a second. We received hundreds of commands regarding the fight between Bruce Lee and Trovador Ramos. Therefore, we decided to do a research about this fight. So, who is Trovador Ramos? Trovador Ramos is a Filipino Grandmaster who founded TRACMA. TRACMA stands for Trovador Ramos Asian Consolidated Martial Arts. Trovador Ramos was a tough man. Some people say he could crush a bamboo rod with a grip and break granite stones with his bare hands. Today, many TRACMA practitioners make a unique public claim that the founder, Trovador Ramos, once sparred with Bruce Lee and defeated him. So, is this true? Let's check out the story we found from Posting Live. In 1970s, Trovado Ramos moved to Hong Kong to work as a musician. He was introduced to Bruce Lee via the mutual friend Benny Liao, who was a martial artist dubbed as the fastest son of Hong Kong. It was Benny Liao who told Bruce Lee about the martial arts from Philippines with unusual and unique fighting technique. They met up and Bruce Lee wanted Ramos to fight him. However, Ramos declined it because he said he had so much respect for Bruce Lee that fighting him would mean disrespect him. The following day, Bruce Lee and Ramos met up again at a private fighting arena at Diamond Hill owned by the Golden Harvest Production. This time, Ramos accepted the fight and both of them stood face to face. Hundreds of people were there watching the fight. The crowd was cheering for both of them. According to Posting Live, Trover the Ramos said, He was fast, but I employed my music using offbeat and downbeat moves. I used rhythm and lots of imagination. I anticipated his moves and I was able to overcome him. Alright, alright, alright. We know that many Bruce Lee's fans must be anchored by reading the story. So, here is the analysis of the fight. First, Bruce Lee will never challenge anyone openly. According to the story, it is said that the fight between Bruce Lee and Ramos held at a private fighting arena at Diamond Hill with hundreds of people watching it. Bruce Lee was the one who challenged Trover the Ramos. In fact, Bruce Lee will never challenge anyone to a real fight with so many people watching because he doesn't want to humiliate anyone. In the early 1970s, Bruce Lee already gained his fame via The Big Boss, Fist of Fury, Way of Dragon. Therefore, this story sounds ridiculous. Do you agree with this? Second, there is not even one witness telling the story to the media. According to the story, the fight was witnessed by hundreds of people but no one has ever told this story including Trovador Ramos himself. Nobody from the arena come forward. Ramos said in an interview that he met Bruce Lee in the early 1970s, but he never said he fought Bruce Lee and defeated him. In fact, there is only one photo where Ramos sit with Bruce Lee for dinner in the 1970s. For other stories in this channel, they are backed by popular people such as Sammo Hung, Jim Kelly, Bolo Young, Joe Lewis, and many more. However, for this story, no one is backing it up. Third, it sounds absurd that Bruce Lee was defeated by Trovador Ramos' music beat and downbeat moves. 
The story said that Ramnes used rhythm and lots of imagination. He anticipated his moves and was able to overcome Bruce Lee. We have seen lots of Bruce Lee's videos of him punching the backs, kicking people's head, and many other awesome training videos. Nevertheless, we never saw a single video of Trovador Ramos fight. Therefore, it sounds suspicious and ridiculous that Bruce Lee was defeated by him. Fourth, the fight between Trovador Ramos and Bruce Lee is suspicious. If you Google Trovador Ramos, yes, this man exists. However, there is no Wikipedia page or any biography about him. Most of the results shown in Google is about the fight between him and Bruce Lee. There are a few websites claiming this Hong Kong-based Filipino grandmaster rejected Bruce Lee to star in Enter the Dragon because he doesn't want to lose a fight and die in the film. In conclusion, people search for Trovador Ramos because they want to know if the fight between him and Bruce Lee actually happened. Do you think so? Fifth. The only Filipino to be credited to teach Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do is Master Dan Inocento. Dan Inocento is the one and only one Filipino who introduced the Filipino martial arts to Bruce Lee. We have seen hundreds of photos of Master Dan Inocento with Master Bruce Lee, but we couldn't find any photos or proof of Trovador Ramos with Bruce Lee. A big apology to all trackmap practitioners, but we really couldn't find any proof. Please leave your comment if you have any information regarding this matter. Six, there's no information about Benny Liao. It was said that Trovador Ramos was introduced to Bruce Lee via their mutual friend Benny Liao. However, we have searched the database in Hong Kong and did not find any person named Benny Liao who was a martial artist. Obviously, this information is not reliable. Do you have any information about Benny Liao? If so, please leave your comment. So, what do you think about the fight between Bruce Lee and Trovador Ramos? Do you think the fight was real? Do you think it happened? If so, who do you think wins the fight? Please leave your comment below. We would like to hear from you. If you love our videos, please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Thank you for watching.